All right, YouTube. This is Courtney. Just got to, uh, got through doing my second and third job, so I'm about to head to my last one. Um, so again, guys, today's been a great day because the reason why, not just with cleaning and enjoying doing what I'm doing, just a a, a lot of great stories I've been hearing today. Um, I talked to a lot of cleaners today for some reason. For what you know, I'm not gonna say for whatever reason, but it was a reason. It was a reason for me to hear these clean that I've been knowing for years share uh, their great experiences they have been recognizing in their business um, so I started my day off uh, I talked to Roger Lord today we're just basically you know just talking about networking and you know just helping bring this industry back together as a whole then I talked to uh, my buddy uh, Walter who's up in Canada Walter's like one of my very first YouTube followers as I can remember for like four years ago and I talked to him and he was saying like you know Courtney you know I don't watch the news because I don't like hearing negativity and when I see people post Post things about politics and just negative stuff on social media I block it I don't pay these people attention and then he said something man and this is what I've learned how to do over the years is to start thinking and manifesting things into your business and also your life so Walter was saying that you know Courtney even though it's snowing you know and I've been sitting around the house I still been telling myself I want to book my job and Walter said the other day Courtney even though I didn't work I still booked four jobs while I was sitting at home and even though it's snowing we have a snow blizzard but I'm still booking jobs and just to hear that guys of he told himself okay he he he, he manifested that by thinking about it and it and it came to light. Then I talked to um, my buddy Fred Hayes from North Carolina same thing he was like Courtney Man, j just to see how my business is transforming and now I don't have these customers arguing to me about the price and, you know, they're not knocking me down for my price and now I can really enjoy uh, what I do. I was telling my son, man, our business is so much easier. We, we love it. I said, Fred, you know why? Because it started with you. You visualize that for your business. And now it's coming to light. Now you're able to see it. It's the same thing, guys, I went through five years ago when I had to start my business over. And then I talked to my buddy Willard, who's also, I think Willard's in, yeah, he's in South Carolina, Myrtle Beach. He was saying the exact same thing. I was talking to him while I was cleaning uh, the carpets here. And he was like, man, I got these better customers now. They pay better. And he was saying the same thing. He like, when customers call me and they could start comparing me to the last cleaner, you know how the customers call you, oh, well, the the last cleaner and guys when you visualize something and you understand who you are you understand what your business stands for uh, stands for when those customers call you and they start talking about the last cleaner they start comparing prices you know what I do now guys I don't even say nothing I just be quiet I just let them talk because again what does that have to do with me what does that have to do with you? When they call you and they start talking about the last cleaner or, you know, or you, your prices are higher. Okay. Why? Guys, that's why I be quiet and I don't say nothing. You know why? Because I know who I am. I know what my company stands for and I don't have to defend it. It gets, it gets to a point in your life, in your business, where you will realize whatever you do, you don't have to defend it. You don't owe anyone an explanation. You don't owe anyone an answer. The only person you owe is you. So when people say, oh, Courtney, why you don't have multi-trucks? Or Courtney, why you sit on the truck? Or Courtney, why you got this? Or why you got that? I don't owe you an explanation. I don't have to tell you why I have it. All I have to know is why I have it because why I wanted it. And that's all you have to do. So when I hear these guys sharing these th their experiences today, it feels good because now I see what they're going through because I've already been through it. That's why when I started my business, no, I had to start my business over because I knew where I wanted my business to go. And as long as I stayed on the right, the wrong track, I was going to continue to go down 
that same path, that same uh, 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 cycle of struggling, not making money, not able to uh, live the life I want to live, not able to uh, drive the car that I want to drive, not able to go on vacation, not able to uh, uh, make decent, a uh, uh, good money. And guys, when you when you do that and you understand that. The things that don't matter, the things that you don't want in your life, you don't see in your life, it means nothing to you. It means absolutely nothing to you because it's not a part of you. That's why when you understand who you are and you understand that it starts with your thinking, now you realize you don't have to be competitive. You don't have to try to knock other people. You don't try you don't have to try to hate on other people because that's what haters do. That's what losers do. Because you have to realize everyone is not a winner. People are there are losers out here, haters. And you know why they are haters? Because they don't have their own vision. They don't have something that they can see and they can go after. They don't have dreams. They don't have goals. So what they do, they have to knock the people who are on the right path. They have to knock the people who have goals. And they try to keep you down at the bottom with them. That's that old what we call the crab in the bucket mentality. Those are what haters do. They watch you. You know, they, they don't like nothing you do. They don't comment on nothing you do. But they watch though. Believe that. Believe that the haters do watch. And they always trying to find something negative about what you're doing. But guys, once you realize that and you real and you realize you're the opposite, you welcome the haters with open arms. You because again, you're totally opposite from them. They're so worried about you when well, you're not even worried about them because you're on your own path. So guys, what I'm saying is that it just feels good. To hear these guys who I've been knowing for years to sit here and tell me how their business have transformed and it all started here. It all started here. So now when they invest more into their company, now when they take classes, now when they network, now when they work with other cleaners in the areas, they realize it was it, it was this easy from the start. But the reason why because I didn't visualize it. I was just doing. That's what most people, that's why most people stay at the bottom to the day they die. Because they have no vision. They just get out here in this world and they do whatever the world does and whatever the news say. You know, like you hear cleaners or you hear people say, oh my God, it's about to be a recession. Recession? What? I mean, I don't, I don't know what a recession is. My phone rings every day. I book jobs every day. I mean, even when I was in the 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 the, the, uh, well, the last recession, I still work. My business didn't close down, and guess what? And make it even worse, I was a low ball cleaner. I was working for the worst of the worst customers. So when you hear these things, and you understand who you are, you understand what your life stands for, you understand what your company stands for. All this stuff doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, guys, because you have really separated yourself from the outer world because now you're in your own world. That's all I do, guys, every day, just think, talk to myself, uh, 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 meditate, uh, read books, sometimes read the same books. I was telling uh, Walter that this morning, we was talking about that, is that sometimes people read one book and they'll read another one. Sometimes, guys, I read the same book over and over because why? Sometimes you have to read something or hear something so many times just for it to get into your spirit. So that's why sometimes I read the same books. Um, so guys, all I'm saying is that learn how to use the law of attraction, which I always talk about, and basically hear. Talk to yourself. Visualize where you want your business to be. I I'm going to tell you guys, man, business is doing so great. I mean, it's just so great. And again, it all started here, how I visualize true misdemeanors. Um, but this morning, you know, I have a good buddy named Kevin who helps me. And I told Kevin, you know, I have a big job Tuesday and I well, might need his hand on it. He said, that's no problem. And I just had to tell Kevin how much I appreciated him, how much he's been a true blessing to my business. And I know Kevin is trying to uh, start his, you know, get his business off the ground. But I told Kevin, I told Kevin this morning, I said, Kevin, you know, 
I really appreciate what you're doing. And I really thank you for being here for me when I need you. And I said, you know, I'm about to keep you even busier this year than last year. But I said, you know, Kevin, I have a vision of having a shop and also getting another van. And I would love if I can probably put you in that other van, but I still want you to focus on your business. But if things don't go how it should, I would love to bring you in the true Steamers with open arms. And you know what Kevin said, guys? You know what he said? This is exactly what he said. Courtney, I've been thinking about that. Courtney, I've been thinking about that. So me and him, our thoughts are, are, are uh, aligning with one another. He always tells me, you know, Courtney, that's why I treat your business like it's my business. Because I see where you're trying to go. I see what you're trying to do with your business. You know, I'm not trying to be standing steamers. I'm not trying to be zero res. I'm not trying to be classic. I'm not trying to be none of I'm, I'm just trying to be Truman Steamers. And whatever happens for Truman Steamers, it's going to be good. It's going to be the best for me. It might not be the best for someone else. And that might be best, you know, for, you know, whoever. But the way I envision my business and the same way you guys should envision your business, it's the best for you. So, guys, again, I'm telling you, it starts right here, thinking, thinking about it. I mean, because when you think about it and you really want it, it's like you can't stop thinking about it. I remember when I got my first truck mount, my first truck mount, guys, I thought about it so much. And even when it seemed impossible, I, I, I didn't know how I was going to get the truck mount, I dreamed about it. I had dreams about this truck mount. I couldn't stop thinking about it. And guess what, guys? I ended up getting the truck mount. You know, working for the kind of customers that I work for now, always thinking about it. For the last five years, last six years, the customers just keep getting better and better. Since I've been here, I booked three jobs, all referrals, all referrals. And guys, that's what I always wanted to turn my business into was a, a, a repeat and referral-based business. Now my marketing is like peanuts. I just keep a Facebook ad going just to keep it going, you know, so, you know, I can get new customers. I spend like $500 a month on Facebook, $125 a week compared to spending three and four uh, uh, grand a month five, six years ago. Now my, 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 my business is all repeats and referrals. Today I have four jobs, two repeat, well, I had Okay, I had four jobs, but two of the jobs were from the same lady next door. Um, but today, they say three customers. One new customer and the other two repeat. So, guys, I'm just telling you, learn how to use the law of attraction. Forget what everybody else say. Forget what everybody else think about you. As long as you know who you are and what you represent and what you want in your life, that's the only thing that should matter. So, when people ask you, oh, uh, why you got this and... Why you spend this much money on this? And why you spend this much money on that? And why you got to drive an expensive car? And why you got to live in a big house? And why you got to have diamond rings? And guys, you don't owe them no explanation. Okay? Just because they don't see themselves with it don't mean you shouldn't have it. Get what's yours. Open up and learn how to entune yourself with your own world. And once you do that, guys, everything else, everybody else's world, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. So, all right, guys. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.